What's up people, how you doing man? We are about to do something special. I'm about to link up with a number of students from Nazarene University and we're gonna talk about everything man when it comes to life, when it comes to content creation and generally what is it that you know us young people want to do so that we can foresee a better future for us. So stick around, feel free to comment and make sure you subscribe, like and just share the vibes. Nikola Nazarene University, let me link up with the students right about now. So what do you view follow politics? Who do you follow politics? Does any one of you here follow politics? Yeah? yeah. What's the latest current thing, Sai? So right now it's all about BBI. And according to my view, mm. I feel like we should uh, we should involve Kenyans more. Mm -hmm. And it should be something that will echo the voices of the people, not just for the politicians, yeah. but also for the youths. Yeah. So you feel more of inclusion, Senor? Yeah, I feel like we should be included. And do you guys feel the same? Do you feel like the especially the youth haven't been included in the whole process because okay now it's more of like it's a change of the constitution in Leon. if they bring the prime minister post and it's something that uh, will help us in a way that will feel like all the let's say the communities are included because at the end of the day we want unity mm. but uh, in a way that it will just and the reason why Mazana is story of politics is, is, is why I started to read in a hustle. Because when you check it, as young people, I don't know, Nikama Venye, it's like we want to know, like Kenya Kunam Sara Kusema. I feel like uh, politics is something that see my young people of our get involved. Because at the end of the day, man, say, Kakinuka and to know me. What I'm going to tell you is uh, what is it that I do? I'm a media personality. My first internship was at KBC. First of all, media is something that I always wanted to do. So for me, I discovered media when I was 14. And I was like, 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 and the way you use it becomes your purpose. And for me, I felt like I needed to be a voice of so many young people. Because Babu, you gonna feel too young people. They really wanna know what's really happening. Like ina kuna ulimse ata kujitole ya kusema. Kuna msa ata kuliza swali. You know, you are so kila msa na pretenda kosawa. But for me, I was like, hey, we need something where a platform yenye young people na zongelele. And that's how I came up with to zidi na hustle. So to zidi na hustle came years after ni me joined TV. And also with TV, we can interact with us. artists. Sana. How many people here in the creative arts? My blogger. You are? You are a blogger? Yes. <laughs> you are a YouTuber. Yeah. When did you start? Uh, How is it? Fine. Yeah? yeah? What's your YouTube about? <laughs> I cover most events. I go to events and I do I do um, basically. Kenyan events and I want to show people I'm showing people Kenyan events from my perspective from a Kenyan mm. perspective a normal Kenyan not how bloggers do it so fancy and mm. yeah you feel like uh, oh, my, 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 my big wigs bloggers they do it so fancy of course so they don't attach themselves to the people yes, yes. yeah I mean you, you can't expect to show people that you have you start your blog with you're hoping into an Uber, going to campaign. Nah, and, you know. Yeah, any life you go to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's just I mean, yeah, yeah, you have to see the like, struggles. The struggles. There are some bloggers who use matatus and there are some bloggers who use their phones and they create content and it's really good fun. Nice. Yeah. So connect to a fame and fame in a coming in a perception flani. No, you are. Because Babu, come on, attack unataka waseo was wakufuate or they want people to look up to you those who una una show us say eh buda kino mana manze ni kunoma you understand because you need people you need to how do you how impress do i put it them. not impress but you need to inspire people yeah. and in the industry that we are in ina kuanga ngumu kwa sababu ukijia mat eh msana kuliza buda ni nini manze ni nini manze <laughs> you understand and, yeah and that's actually it's, it's, it's a problem that's not only in kenya because the industry the entertainment industry because the young is an entertainment industry from music to bloggers to actors 
generally na yangali in a very comprehensive way and with that in a coming in as little pressure like there's a lifestyle that you have to sell so for me i always feel like how true are you to yourself dinambia ngawasile content unatoa you need to be able to reserve something for you you understand usijipoteze sana kwa ile content unatumia because at the end of the day yes you want to impress people you want to like um you know kuna information utakupatia wase but also at the end of the day usijisahau sababu kijisahau ni chini depression na kama hapo sana utaanza kuangalia eh blog huu msi huu msema zi wa na get 100k views msi na get sponsorship msi na you know so with that inaanza na ma pressure mob sana na nimesikia sasa hii story za ma depression zime rise sana among the youth so you guys know that but you see the problem it comes so fast inapotea so fast yeah 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 sasa hivi kupanda ngani na wasi unakuwa like Uh, it does like it, at the end of the day mimi nasema ngamanze hii hii same isiingia kwa kichwa jikiingia kwa kichwa utaanza ku live beyond your means na ukianza ku live beyond your means utakuwa frustrated uh, you said that you started uh, the media in the media industry when you were 14 and uh, how did your parents uh, deal with this uh, situation because you were in the entertainment and uh, regarding the entertainment industry in that particular time it, it was difficult to uh, for parents to understand so how did they deal with that my mom passed away in 2017 so she was a very huge supporter because my mom had to get tv and from the word go she was like oh wow and then you know pia nile perception am ah, kiongo anataka na kwa tv one day you know your parents are so proud about that so my mom really supported me I feel like the youths are doing more like my youths they are working really hard so do you think like the government are doing enough to empower the youth the government can now mfanya zero bro me if I was to read them honestly i'll say me was him na filaje cuz honestly like young people how they suffer like what i've seen you know like and also ukienda places kama kibera cuz when i do to zidi na hasu mimi wana dandora naenda kibera like you get to see frustrations and young people who can especially boy child manze my boy manze wanaumia ji kwanza mademo wapati mademo mademo anataka do manze na my boy hawana do <laughs> but it's also at the end of the day like i said nothing bad lasts forever because by the way kuna mm. matu kweli mm. we'll pull along in the kuna gospel mm. do you feel like we would have still listened to him mpaka sasa hivi ni pola anapenda mademo manze Willipole is a personal friend like ni best yangu like ni he is how willipole is that's willipole you understand na ni poa sasa zingine uku real with yourself and for him that dude i don't know wao jamaa na roho nyingine sijui like but how he just did the transition first of all me, me i'm happy for him g sasa nafanya kana napenda now he's comfortable you understand that in the public pay and do you add from to the hassle first of all no tell him my actual salary <laughs> but um what happens with tv you're paid according to how big your brand is you understand and how able are you how are you able to attract uh, you know sponsors so that place cuz if your name is this big then you have to ask for money that as part of, you know the kind of input you're bringing and then with tuzidi na hustle so it's more of how I get money is through sponsorship me as a brand so i work with like um i've worked with coca cola through coke studio um I've worked with some blaze i've worked with uh, kcd so i create content for them and then they fuse their product that's how i make money do you use more of your salary in maintaining your lifestyle mm. or uh, the, how does it really benefit you kujipanga usi like for me my salary now what i do with my salary is um it pays my house i save ndio ni poke save ni simna save ama mkiaza tu kusave anza hata kama ni tembo per day you have to save and i'm telling you guys i for free you have to save and then as early as now say tembo per day kila mtu anaza for tembo per day hapa hivi so well, my salary maybe i'll save uh you know pay my house rent and it will help me with you know day to day but also i have other avenues to bring in money you know and that's the social media 
uh, I have other business outside, you know. I'm a hustler, man. You know, like me see, ki, see. <laughs> um, I do a lot of fashion consulting. Uh, I do a lot of uh, brand strategy. You understand? So you work with a brand and you give them like, um, let's say they have this campaign they want to roll out. Uh, you give them like the whole plan, the blueprint. And also, I supply artists to events. So there are so many ways to make money, especially in the field that I'm in. Because that's why I'm so grateful for NTV. NTV opened so many doors for me. You know, it was that platform that I needed to stretch now my... Yeah, you know. Oof. I want to see myself in New York. <laughs> hosting the biggest, hosting the Daily Show. No longer the Daily Show, but Trevor Noah. Yeah, for me, in the next five, ten years, I want to be like an international sensation. See, like Banner Boy, Sai. I want to be that for the media entertainment industry from Kenya. Yeah. So, in any starting of any brand, there are there are some challenges. So, what are the challenges you face in starting your career? Mm -hmm.